Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the course on right to information being offered by the National Law School of India University, Bangalore. Uh, my name is Sairam. I'll be the course instructor for this course and uh, we would probably take you through uh, the history, the background to the right to information. As we are well aware of uh, in India, this is a law that is uh, around 15 years old. It was enacted in 2005. There's a lot of uh, international comparative development on the right to information. Uh, this law has contributed to several other legislations, both in the state and in the center. Uh, it has contributed to a, a, a great deal of transparency and accountability in governance. It importance uh, in contributing to uh, the understanding of the legal system, the constitution of India, and uh, to governance in general is immense and uh, this course will probably take you through uh, the legal developments, the policy perspective and also the interpretative challenges that are required for uh, making this law uh, far more effective uh, in administrative processes. We will start uh, this course with uh, the module on uh, transparency and accountability and good governance. As you are well aware of, this is an effective uh, measure required in any legal system and the Right to Information Act actually tries to ensure uh, these three uh, thumb rules. That is one, transparency. It tries to bring about transparency in governance. Two, it tries to hold the government accountable to the people because we are in a democracy and RTI is uh, probably an effective tool in good governance. So these would be the three contributing factors to what the Right to Information Act actually, uh, you know, uh, is something that is uh, nurturing uh, from the law on right to information. Uh, so, you know, how do we look at transparency, accountability and good governance? I think we must look at these uh, three things uh, in terms of uh, is, is this required and what is probably the Right to Information Act doing? in terms of uh, uh, you know its contribution so the importance and significance of this right to information is something that has to be understood in a primary context now if you look at the terminology itself uh, you know uh, information it comes from the latin expression forma where probably what is uh, being expected is the formation of those kinds of ideas uh, so information creates uh, you know, and it gives you uh, those uh, ideas, those uh, inputs that are necessary to uh, give clarity of mind. So what does information do? It actually removes the vagueness of the mind. It gives you something that you are more equipped and well aware of. Uh, probably what forma uh, means in Latin is that it gives shape to something. So when you have information, uh, what is a vague idea probably gets concretized into something that is uh, acceptable and something that is very important and uh, what does information do actually it brings about awareness right it brings about a greater degree of uh, uh, you know knowledge uh, even in a given society and uh, we get information today in the digital age uh, in the you know whatsapp age or in the 4g age uh, information from all kinds uh, some information you know we are also grappling with the issue about whether the information is authentic or whether it is not authentic or whether it's fake information. So there is so much abundance of information today. However, what does this right to information does? It's not about private information. It's about seeking information from the government. The government that is supposed to be accountable to its own citizens. And the right to information is a right that is demanded uh, from the government to share that kind of information about how the government actually goes about its functionalities. How does it exercise its powers and functions? Where is the taxpayer's money being utilized? Uh, whether it is utilized effective or not. And hence, uh, if you uh, look at the right to information, it is quite an inherent human right. Uh, so we say it is one of those human rights uh, which was never defined in the constitution. It is never part uh, of the original constitution. However, it was probably read into the constitution as one of the human rights under Article 191A of the Constitution of India. Article 191A, as you are well aware of, is the right that deals with the freedom of speech and expression. It is also dealing with the freedom of press. And uh, we will uh, talk about the constitutional dimension about how the courts in India uh, brought this as a, a 
enumerated uh, uh, right uh, uh, which was the right to freedom of speech and expression and the unenumerated part of it was the right to information that was read into it. Uh, so I think you know, what is uh, the significance of the right to information? The significance is I think every citizen, every human being requires information and without information probably you cannot probably take appropriate decisions about uh, what to do or how to go about it. And I think, you know, to put it in a very generic sense, uh, in India, where we are a news hungry nation, you know, a lot of people say uh, we have news channels 24 into 7, which are feeding us with so much of information. Uh, they give us information from all sides. Uh, we, you know, we probably need information uh, depending upon our own interest. Many of us may be interested in the information that is coming from the film world or from Bollywood, from film stars about who is associating with whom, what kind of films are being made. So there is a lot of uh, information that probably some of us do like about what I would want to call as the page three information. Uh, it is information that is about the limelight of the film industry, about what is happening with the uh, TV shows, soap operas and so on and so forth. So that is an information that many of us are, uh, you know, uh, we look forward to uh, the same. Some of us are maybe may sports enthusiasts. So we are looking at information that is coming from the sports. Many of us are uh, enthusiastic about information that is coming from the stock market. That's also an information that we are very keen and eager to. Many of us may have different interests or different dimensions to seek this information. And what does this do? Probably it equips you with the kind of knowledge that is required to actually develop uh, ourselves as a perfect human being. And with information, I think what happens is it contributes to innovation and it contributes to development. So if a country has to be fully developed, I think the right to information becomes a very, very important inherent human right that should be given to citizens and it should contribute to a knowledge society from an information society. You know, why should citizens get information? You know, very often than not, this is a uh, question that uh, one may arise uh, or one may ask, uh, what will citizens do finally with this information? Uh, should information really be shared? If so, what kind of information should be shared and what should not be shared? Now, you cannot probably give all the kind of information because probably one would assume that uh, there are state secrets that cannot be shared. But I think, you know, when citizens seek information, they know that there is some information that they are entitled to. It is hence the duty of the state to share that information. And uh, there are some information probably the citizens uh, may not know or need not know. So it's on the need to know basis that the citizens would be very, uh, you know, interested to get that kind of information. How is an information relevant? Let me tell you, information is probably very relevant when I'm doing a PhD thesis. Now, unless I get the requisite information to the research that I'm going to pursue, probably my thesis is not going to be complete. It may not contribute to the purpose for which the PhD or the thesis is actually going forward to. So I think information uh, is required and the purpose of uh, seeking this information can be actually plenty. It could be your own inquisitiveness to know certain information. It could be your own self-interest to actually get this information and dissect it or use the information for your own purpose. Or it could be information just to hold the government accountable. I just want to know how the government, you know, goes about its decision making process. Where is the money being diverted to? Uh, is the money actually going to those who are, uh, you know, entitled to the same? So there are many inf uh, reasons and purposes why this information is to be required and is sought by the citizens. However, let us note down certain necessary reasons why citizens want to get information, right? And this is keeping the three rule of transparency, accountability and good governance as the main touchstones of how and what does the right to information tend to achieve, right? So let me start giving you some of those reasons. The first reason is, I think what does information do is, it tends to achieve a purpose that probably no other legislation can probably go about achieving it directly. And that is corruption. Now we all know that, uh, you know, corruption uh, is in different forms. Uh, uh, corruption is probably quite inherent in a given society. Uh, probably when you get, go to a driving license, you need to, uh, uh, you know, uh, bribe that official. There are corruptions in uh, multiple stages where there is favoritism, there is nepotism. Uh, so the government probably requires to uh, free itself of the clutches of corruption. It needs to show that it has the intent and the object uh, to deliver uh, what citizens expect from it as just and fair and reasonable. Now, what does probably information do is that it gives uh, a citizen 
some kind of control or some degree of control on how is, these kinds of decisions are being generally undertaken uh, by uh, the government. And hence, the impact of information can be felt on corruption. Uh, in a sense that you uh, probably have this law, this which may actually reduce uh, 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 the degree of corruption that is actually required uh, uh, in a given situation. And hence, reduction of corruption uh, is an important uh, achievement that one can uh, uh, reach up to if the right to information is actually rightfully implemented. Right. Second, now what does uh, control on corruption do? The control on corruption also limits the abuse of power, right? So uh, we always say that uh, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. However, what can information do is to actually check that abuse of power. Now, when you get information, you exactly know whether the power was used uh, fairly, reasonably, or was it used arbitrarily or in a malafide interest. This is something that there can be a scrutiny that citizens can do of the uh, government and its officials. And that scrutiny, I think, is something that is very importantly achieved through right to information. Third, I think, uh, you know, when we say, uh, why should you have right to information? I think right to information is required simply because we are in a democracy. It's not a dictatorial form of government. It is not a government uh, that is not supposed to be accountable to its people. It's so when you look at India or when you look at the strongest democracies in the world, they have ensured right to information as a fundamental right. Uh, it's core and important for democracies to survive. And hence in India, if we say that we are the largest democracy uh, in the world in terms of the kind of population and the size that it has, then you will definitely come to this conclusion that it is important that in a democracy, this right is actually granted. Why? Because when we define kinds of democracy, you know, we had defined it as of the people, right? So what does it mean of the people? So it's a government of the people. So the people have created the government. It is of the people, it is by the people, and it's for the people. And then when the government of the day is of, by, and for the people, it is just duty bound to actually share the necessary information that is required uh, to its citizen. So one of the important reasons why a citizen should get this information is simply because the government is a democratic government. It is expected to share this information with its citizens. Fourth, very important. I think one would assume that the government uh, does not hold this information. The government is not the owner of any information, especially in a democratic society. The information that the government has is not of the government. It is of the people of whom the government is actually governing. And hence, when you look at the information, the government does not own this information. Rather, you will assume that in a democracy, the government is only a trustee of this information. And hence, we apply what is known as a public trust doctrine, in which we say that this information is a national resource. And this being a national resource, the real owner of this national resource, all this information lies with the people. Right. It is the people who are the owners and hence the government as the trustee must probably have a duty to manage this information, share this information in the interest of the beneficiaries who are finally the citizens of this country. The next point, why should we have information? It is particularly relevant and important if you're looking at citizens participation and governance. It is important to see that if the government has to be uh, functioning in a public participatory manner where the public are involved in governance and that's what democracy is all about that we all feel that we have a, a role to contribute in governance then if public participation has to be effective citizens should have the right to information so how will a public participate in governance unless he is fed with the requisite information that is necessary for the citizen to actually contribute so when the government comes about public consultation or public information system where they say are seeking advice from uh, citizens you will notice that it is important for the government to actually first share this information and then get the ideas and the suggestions from the citizens. So to improve public participation in governance, I think citizens should get information. Next, how do I look at why should citizens get information? I think citizens should get information simply because what does information do? It gives you the chance or the idea of a free society where you can debate, you can argue, you can probably confront, you can actually uh, disagree, uh, you have the right of dissent. Now, information actually 
gives you as i told you earlier it clears the weakness of the mind it gives you the ideas to express right so when we talk about debates and forums unless you have the appropriate information can you really take part in a debate can you really take part uh, in a decent uh, march i think what does information do it gives you the right to choose between the right and the wrong and hence i think one of the basic requirements for information is to give citizens the choice of right and wrong the choice between what they are for and what they are against i think in an open system uh, it is inevitable to have information as a prerequisite because it is just fair and equitable for people to get that kind of information as required finally if i should uh, say why should citizens get information or why should answer this question about why should citizens get this information i would only say this that in a country like india information will be bridging the gap between the government and the governed right government is the functionary it is elected by the people but governs are the people themselves the citizens themselves so it will deficit of uh, the gap of uh, the ruler is actually a uh, you know closed up we will say that the gap is actually narrowed down when information is shared and uh, probably the government of the day uh, uh, will actually have more faith uh, from its people uh, it will actually get more uh, uh, encouragement from its people if it goes ahead and shares information as is required